Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Tetsuo Imamura, Executive Vice President, Honda Motor Company Limited. Good morning and welcome. I am delighted to be here in Geneva at such an exciting time. Today, we showcase a range of new, truly innovative global products with a whole new range of core models for our European customers. Firstly, I would like to take this opportunity to share an update on our global operations. Last year, Honda's global car sales were up 4% year on year to 4.45 million units. Across cars, motorcycles, and power products, we reached more than 26 million customers. We continue to innovate to take advantage of new market opportunities and strengthen Honda's presence in more than 120 markets. Our business is strong and remains on course for future growth. In Europe, Honda's commitment to the region runs deep. Since our early participation in the Ironman TT races and the establishment of our first overseas production facility in Belgium, through racing and manufacturing, our link go back more than 50 years. Today, with this new European lineup, we demonstrate our continued commitment to the region. Ladies and gentlemen, it all starts now. FCB concept and the new McLaren Honda Formula One car. Very diverse products, but all expressing Honda's passion for technology and innovation. Honda has the depth of R&D knowledge and the experience to take on all of these challenges and see them through. Honda has continuously, consistently strived to set new standards in environmental commitment and innovation. And the FCB concept, making its European debut today, represents more than 25 years of Honda leadership in the development of advanced fuel cell technology, emitting nothing but water. Honda's new FCB will be launched in Japan exactly a year from now, followed by the US and Europe during 2016. 
if innovation such as we see in the FCB concept is at the heart of Honda, racing is our DNA. 2015 will see Honda return to the pinnacle of global motorsports Formula One. And we do so by re-establishing an iconic partnership that won four back-to-back -back drivers and constructors championships a quarter of a century ago. Here today, I'm delighted to reveal the car that will be on the grid in Melbourne just 12 days from now. With the experience of McLaren and two great drivers in Fernando Alonso and Jason Button, we look forward to competing at the very top level in this inaugurative, inaugural season and beyond. From performance engineering on the track to performance engineering on the road, 25 years after the debut of the original iconic NSX supercar, here today we showcase the production version of the all new NSX. This car demonstrates our passion for engineering and broad based experience in powertrains, hybrid systems, super handling technologies, and adverse body construction. But most of all, the new NSX with over 550 brake horsepower will bring a new sports experience for supercar drivers. This same challenging spirit and passion will be expressed in another Honda dream that has been decades in the making and that will literally take on the power to the skies. This year, Honda Aircraft Company will begin customer deliveries of the highly anticipated Honda Jet. A pure expression of our commitment to innovation in human mobility. The Honda Jet is the fastest highest flying, and most fuel efficient aircraft in its class. I can tell you today that we've already begun production and we will fly the Honda Jet to eBay's here in Geneva in May. Advanced Zero Emission Engineering competing at the pinnacle of global motorsports, in the reverse of an iconic supercar and taking to the skies. Challenges that only Honda could take on. Now, may I introduce Philip Ross to provide more detail on our plans for Europe. Ladies and gentlemen, Please welcome Philip Ross, Senior Vice President, Honda Motor Europe. Thank you, Eva Morosan. Good morning, everyone. What we have just seen represents the unique and true spirit of Honda. But it doesn't stop there. Civic, Civic Tourer, CRV have all just received major upgrades. Civic and Civic Tourer both get fresh, sporty exterior and interior styling enhancements. Along with Honda Connect, the new in-car entertainment system. With the new look CRV, we have refreshed exterior styling, upgraded interior, and a world first safety technology with the intelligent adaptive cruise control system. We've also added a more powerful 160 PS, 1.6 liter diesel engine along with a nine-speed automatic transmission, delivering outstanding performance and economy. But that's just the beginning of what's to come this big year for Honda.
Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce the new Jazz, the new HRV, and the world premiere of the stunning new Civic Type R. great, doesn't it? Well, we've got a lot to say about this car, but first, let's start by introducing the all-new HRV, making Honda's entry into Europe's fastest-growing crossover sector. Back in 1999, Honda created this sector with the original HRV. It set the trend then, and this new version will raise the bar. With its coupe-like design, coupled with the versatility and stature of an SUV, HRV expertly blends practicality and dynamic good looks. It's powered by a 1.6 petrol or a 1.6 diesel engine. We also use Honda's magic seats to exploit its class-leading interior space. It's worth sitting in it for yourself to see. The new HRV will sit perfectly in the Honda range between the Civic and the CRV when it comes and arrives on sale during the summer. It will be joined in our lineup by an important car in the volume sector, the ever popular Jazz. Totally redesigned inside and out, the all new Jazz has a sleek, modern exterior, longer wheelbase, and even more refined, comfortable ride. The new Jazz retains and improves its popular attributes, such as the raised driving position, a large boot, and of course, our clever rear magic seats, which offer class-leading interior versatility and a lot of space. The new Jazz also offers improved fuel economy and higher performance thanks to a new 1.3 petrol engine with a six-speed manual or CVT transmission. Last, but by no means least, the final car in our 2015 lineup, the global debut of the production Civic Type R. When it goes on sale in a couple of months' time, it will be the most extreme, the highest performing Honda ever to wear the red H badge. Built as a racing car for the road, the Civic Type R promises to set new standards in the hot hatch market. Its all-new 2.0-liter VTEC turbo engine delivers 310 PS and red lines at 7,000 RPM. Meticulous aerodynamic development and advanced new suspension and chassis systems ensure exceptional high-speed stability. A brand new plus R button, which when pressed, puts the car into racing mode that increases engine and dynamic responses for the most exciting performance and driving experience. The exhilarating new Civic Type R also promises a top speed of 270 kilometers per hour with a zero to 100 kilometer per hour sprint 
being covered in just 5.7 seconds. Furthermore, I can confirm today that the price of the new Civic Type R will be in the region of mid 30,000 euro. In summary, today we have new standards in fuel cell technology. The rebirth of the NSX and return to Formula One and a whole new range of cars for Europe. So many reasons to be hugely positive about 2015. Just before I finish, there is one more promise we made. In 2012, we stated our ambition for the new Civic Type R to become the fastest front-wheel drive car around the Nuremberg Ring. Soon we will take the production car to the ring but with the development car, we have already set a stunning time, as you are about to see. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for your attention, and I leave you with the Civic Type R. Thank you.